Want to get right back to that breaking news we've been following today. We are learning more about a Hendricks County deputy killed in the line of duty. Deputy Fred Fissler was killed while responding to a crash overnight on South State Road 267, just north of Plainfield. It happened just before midnight last night. We've learned he died while coming into contact with power lines. Minutes after Deputy Fissler responded to that scene, somebody driving by actually used his police radio to contact dispatchers for help. They told them that Fissler was down. Now that community is remembering this fallen deputy. Our Emily Longnecker is live today in Danville where a memorial is now in place to honor Fissler's service and his ultimate sacrifice. And I can see that memorial behind you continues to grow. Emily. Yeah, Dustin, it is growing by the minute. That's Deputy Fissler's patrol car and people have been leaving flowers and mementos and messages to him all morning. Several of Deputy Fissler's extended family was actually here through most of the morning, remembering him as someone who loved his family and his job. Understandably, they did not want to talk on camera, but talk to us off camera. You know, they affectionately called him Freddie, and his football coach and close friend was here and called him the pride of Cloverdale, where Deputy Fissler grew up. And Deputy Fissler joined the Marine Corps and had been with the Hendricks County Sheriff's Department for two and a half years. His close friend and football coach recalled the time Deputy Fissler came home from the Marine Corps with a special gift for him. The, my proudest moment is when he came in and he gave me a, a medal of honor that he got in the Marines. And uh, I'll cherish, cherish that to this day. And uh, he's, uh, I'm proud of him because from growing up as a kid watching him and then to being the man that he became, he started his family, he moved to Greencastle. Um, and then he got his job up here in Hendricks County, and uh, his heart and soul has always been in Cloverdale, though. Um, and uh, this is a hard, this is hard for their family. So. Yeah, people mourning Deputy Fistler throughout Hendricks County and beyond. That was his football coach, Tom Winders who also was telling us, you know, that Deputy Fissler, um, we had, a family member had told us that Deputy Fissler and his wife Maddie had been together since high school and his football coach Tom Winder saying actually uh, they go back all the way to fifth grade when they initially had a, a crush on each other and um, Tom Winder saying that he used to tell Deputy Fissler, you know, you're going to get the award for being in love with the, the same person for the longest time, probably 90 years. So um, a, a, a difficult um, day for that family. Deputy Fissler leaving behind his wife Maddie, also a six-year-old son Leo and a six-month-old daughter Bradley and, and Tom Winder saying that uh, this community and all of Deputy Fissler's friends coming together. And, and surrounding that family um, with love and support at this very, very difficult time. Dustin. Yeah, and hopefully that family can feel uh, the arms, the collective love and support from the community as they go through this. Emily, thank you so much. We're going to talk to you again uh, coming up later tonight on 13 News. And uh, right now we are working to learn more about Deputy Fistler's life and his service and the many stories that no doubt will come out uh, about what he did for his community over the years uh, and for our country as well. He was a veteran and the ways that the community is honoring him. We're going to have much more on 13 News starting at 4 o'clock. And of course, we've got more as soon as we have it on our WTHR mobile app.